right, so this is where things get interesting. Um, we're going to take our, our, um, our main activity here, and when we click the About Lights Out button, we want it to launch another activity um, that tells us about the Lights Out game, right? And gives us a little description and so on. Um, so we're going to need one activity to create and then actually launch another one. Um, our first step in making multi-activity games. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Um, we do need to know a little bit about the activity lifecycle um, for this for this to work here, right? So we start off when whenever an app is made, um, we know that on create is called, right? We've seen that in the the apps that we've done so far. Um, but what what happens then? It turns out that actually it's doing three things: it's creating it, starting it, and then even resuming it, right? So these correspond to different stages where it's actually made. And then it's then it's made visible and sort of brought to the foreground. Uh, now that these different stages here are nice because your app can actually be destroyed or kind of partially destroyed over time, um, so the Android can manage its resources uh, appropriately. So the first thing that might happen is is say that that your your app goes a little bit into the background, then it can pause it, right? And it might still be even partially visible, right? But you know, if, if it's paused, if there's something else in the foreground, you probably don't want to think do things like continue uh, capturing images on, on your camera, right? Or maybe you're playing a video, you want it to stop. So very quick things um, that happen here. Uh, and this there's going to be a callback function in here on pause that we can call to release some, you know, some of those resources, right? What if it was made, you know, totally obscured, right? So another activity came to the foreground and ours was hidden entirely, right? Well, then there's another place here, this on stop. And maybe we had some data that, that we need to, to store um, because it's quite possible that if our activity has been stopped, that eventually what's going to happen is the system is going to reclaim uh, the information. It's, it's going to kill it, essentially. Um, so we want to use these callbacks uh, to do things. All, right. um, all, all very good to know. Uh, let's, let's look at a, at a quick example here. So I have on my phone. Uh, an example of an app here. Uh, this one is is Bible Gateway. So I'll open this guy up. Uh, so if you can see this, oh, just sort of the main, main app here, and it has a couple examples. So one, if I bring up this little book perk thing, all right, then it asks me, do I want to complete it using um, the browser or or Chrome, right? So the the activity that was in the background has been partially hidden, right? So um, we know there that that on pause would have been called. And if I click somewhere else to bring it back to the foreground, right? So it's on resume has been called, and then I'm going to try here and let's see if I say login, right? Then it's bringing another activity totally to the foreground. So we know there that that on stop was called, and if I hit back, right? Then it can um, it can restart, right? And of course, when I first launched this app, uh, on create itself was called, but you already knew that. Okay, uh, let's let's see what we can do. Uh, all right, so to make an activity, um, we're actually responsible for four things, uh, as as follows, right? So so first of all, we need a new a new class that creates activity, um, and we're going to need to uh, override the on create method. If it's a new activity, it needs a new class. Uh, that class also needs to have its own layout. Right, and with its own resources, strings and colors and so on, and those can actually go into the same uh, resource files that you have for the for your first activity. You're gonna have to register the activity in Android Manifest so it knows about it. Um, Eclipse has been doing this for us automatically all the time for our first activity, but we're responsible for the second one and any any ones after that. And then we actually need to start it from the other activity, and to do that, we're gonna make an intent. Uh, and start the activity using that intent. And then later on, we'll see that, that different activities can communicate back and forth with each other uh, using extras. All right, so pretty neat. Let's, let's go through each of these things uh, in a little bit of detail just so you understand what's going on. Uh, because you know, it, it turns out that Eclipse has a wizard uh, that's gonna <laughs> that we're gonna use uh, to help do these things. Um, it's gonna speed things up quite a bit, but I do wanna make sure that you understand what's, what's going on. So let, let's go through the next slides. All right, so the first thing is, is creating a new Java class. Uh, nothing special here. Right from the beginning of CSSE 220 uh, or 221, you, you, you've been making Java classes. So, so very straightforward. We're going to make one called about activity. Um, and its super class is going to be um, Android's 
activity. All right, so pretty straightforward there. Then what? All right, so it's going to bring us up a, a, a new file here um, that extends activity, and we need to make on create from scratch. All right, so again, this is usually stubbed in for us, um, but we would have to make this here. Uh, calling the the super class on create all right and also setting the content view to our own layout now at that point you probably even haven't made the layout yet uh, but you notice we use the same uh, naming convention uh, layout and then activity underscore and then the name of the activity that we care about all right next thing to do would be to make that that activity all right so we're just going to make a new android xml file uh, resource type here uh, will be a layout. Um, you can make it any type that you want. We're actually going to use a, sc a scroll view for ours today. Uh, and the name activity about .xml. All right, so we'll, we'll be making that. And finally, you'll have to open up the Android manifest XML file and look inside here. And you'll notice that, that uh, what's not in the box are things that would already be there. And you see that it already has one activity. It has the main activity, but what we need to do is create a new one here for our about activity. All right. You'll notice that the intent filter, all right, for main and the launcher, all right, is going to be set to the main activity, and the other one just means that it, that it's one that could be launched from within the app. All right. So all fine and dandy. Uh, are we going to do these things? Oh, of course not. Right. So um, there's a wizard for this as well. Uh, and it's just basically making a new activity and it's going to stub in a whole bunch of this stuff for us. So let's go ahead and, and, and do that just so we can see how it works. Um, all right, so back in, in here, I'm going to right click on my package. I don't think it really matters, but I'll make a new and we, we need an, an activity here. So I'm going to make a new other Android Android activity and we'll click next blank activity will be fine. And then we need to give it a name. So here's, here's the things that have to do with our about screen. So the activity name is going to be about activity. Layout name, you'll see it, it, uh, it changed it for us automatically. Uh, it's going to make a fragment. We'll get rid of that too. Um, title, um, about activity. Uh, I think I want something like uh, about lights out. I think that'll be a little bit better. Um, it's going to ask us if we wanted this new one to be a launcher activity, which, which we don't. Um, and the defaults should be OK otherwise. So I'm going to click it, see what we get here. So about activity, uh, it's going to set the content view appropriately so we don't have to do that. We are going to have to get rid of all the stuff with, with menus and fragments if we don't want to use them. Uh, so, so I might as well go ahead and do that right now. Um, Redestroy the menu folder here. Uh, get rid of the fragment and then activity about. Let's take a look to see what it, what it gave for us. Uh, and it looks like it made a frame leg out again because it, it thought it was going to have a fragment in it. Uh, we'll, we'll change that shortly. All right, let's go ahead back to our slides. And next thing we want to do is go ahead and, and add one more string for our about description. Again, feel free to copy and paste it right off of here. And let me grab that onto my clipboard and go back and go to my strings and let's see I have the settings one I, I don't need that anymore actually it made another hello world for me I'll get rid of that too um, and we'll have our about description and it has a little description of what happens when uh, when we run our uh, when we run our app a little bit of description about about lights out uh, looks good so the uh, the XML we want to make this a scroll view again, especially with with things that are that are uh, um, that are a little dialogue dialogues like this. Uh, they might have a lot of text in them, and it might go off the window. Um, so we're going to make it a scroll view as the parent. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of padding to to, to give it some space around here, uh, like we did before, and then the, we'll just set a text view with the, with the text in it. All right, so let's go do it. Okay, so I'm back in Eclipse, uh, back in my about activity. Uh, no longer want a frame layout, but instead, 
I will grab a scroll view. See if I can find one of those. I think that's under composite. Yeah, there it is. So grab a scroll view. All right, and within the scroll view, I will put a text view. All right, and then make the changes that I want to make. First, first thing we said here is want to add some padding. Uh, and I think we said 15, 15 pixels here. And then the text view, I'm not going to change it, so I'll get rid of that guy there. And the text will be the string for the about description. All right, and it's going to create it right here. Um, so pretty decent. Uh, <clears throat> now what we notice is that uh, the layout looks, you know, looks something like this. Uh, we won't really want this one to pop up like a dialogue, right? So what we want to do is, is see what that would look like. We'll kind of preview it here and see how, how it is. And there's, a, there's an option that you can get different look and feels here, different themes. Uh, so I'm going to try that right now and, and shift away from my app theme. And I'm going to go down to theme.dialog. I want to click this guy here. Give it a second. Uh, it, it goes ahead and, and it gives it to us in a kind of in, in a black screen right here. Um, so it looks kind of nice. All right, but if I really want it to happen, what I need to do is go into my man manifest, and we'll see where it, where it gave us this. And we're going to give it a theme uh, that's Android style theme dialog. Okay, so this is a, a, a built-in style, not one that I have to make. So it's an Android style, um, and that same theme dot dialog. Let's, let's make that happen then. So I go ahead to the Android manifest, open it up, go to the XML, and here's where our about activity is. All right, so here we will make um, that our theme. Oops, and it looks like I'm trying to type outside of the activity itself. So let me get inside the brackets here. Oops. Didn't want another one right here. And we'll use a theme that is going to be at Android style theme dot and I want dialogue. There it is. Alright, and that should work when I when I run the app now. Now you might be wondering, well, you know, how am I going to run the app? I haven't wired together the buttons, so I can't, I can't get this thing to, to show up yet. Um, but I'm going to have a quick, quick little hack here. Um, remember, we said that it was the intent filter that determined which one was the the main one that was getting launched here. So we're just going to move that guy away from main activity and move it down uh, into the about activity. So um, quick and dirty, take the intent filter, grab these lines cut and then we're going to paste it in between the activity tags All right so we'll see this guy kind of lives here now and then we're going to rerun our app okay my emulator came up and it says about lights out right here and you'll see that it, it's this the the dialogue theme kind of kind of fits it right over whatever it is it kind of grays out the background and if i click elsewhere it actually uh, makes it go away um all right very good so how are we going to get this guy to launch from our app itself? Well, to launch the activity, we actually need to do something like that's that's uh, called creating an, an, an intent, right? Um, so an intent is basically just just some sort of operation to be performed. Uh, you can use it with start activity uh, to launch an activity. Hey, that's what we want. There's some things here with broadcast receivers that we may or may not get to later in the course. Um, but let's focus on, on what we care about right now. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to bind it together, different chunks of the code. You could even do in different applications here. Uh, but this is, this is it right here. The most significant use is in the launching of activities where you can think of it as the glue between them, right? So, hmm, kind of interesting. So, so what does this mean for, for us? Uh, it's actually very, very simple to do. We've done the hard work, which is actually making the activity. Uh, launching it very straightforward. So I'm going to go back into my um, into my code for the about activity and into the the about button, and I'm going to add literally two lines of code here. One line is going to be to to call the intent 
constructor. So we're going to make an about intent, so a variable of type intent, um, call the constructor, and it takes two parameters here. One is the context that's going to be used, and the context is, is this. And then the, active, the second uh, parameter is the class that's going to be launched. So that's just the about activity dot class. Once you have that intent, what we'll do is, is we'll just within this class, we're going to call start activity. All right, so my own activity says, hey, start another activity, send it to the foreground, and then pass in the intent. Very straightforward. All right, so, um, oh, don't want to forget, once I'm in here, let's see, I'm going to put my intent filter back to the main activity. Uh, yeah, it's important. I want, to, I want to keep it there. Let's go back to main activity. And within it, if I click the about button, make an intent, call it what I want, call mine something like a, about intent, uh, the constructor, context, and then the class that I want to launch here, about activity dot class. And then I could say this dot uh, start activity. All right, and you can see that, that it would bring it up here. Um, the this is entirely optional. If you just start typing start activity, uh, it'll it'll get you the same place. So, um, and then pass in an intent, and that'll be the about intent. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Import intent and launch your emulator. Okay, I launched my emulator. Uh, hope you don't mind. I, I've been cutting out of the video. Uh, the time that it takes to launch the emulator. I suppose you don't mind losing uh, or gaining back 30 seconds uh, that you would have missed every time. Um, just to let you know, my emulator is not instant by any means. All right, so let's let's see what we got here. So about lights out, let's see if this guy launches. So we'll click it, and there it is. Fades out the rest of the background, brings our nice little uh, dialogue theme activity right to the front. We can hit the back button to go back, or we can just click elsewhere since there's another place to click. Just click outside. Um, and and our main menu comes back to the foreground. All right, uh, very nice. All right, um, and as a matter of fact, that is it. Our first new activity and our first theme, uh, sort of this built-in theme dialogue. And that's about it for this video.